right now we welcome on Ian Cruikshank. He is the VP of Sales and Marketing at Speedshift Media. Ian, thank you so much for giving some of us your time today. Pleasure to be here. Okay, so let's talk about, we know the problem here is the connection between inventory, and we know that there's a connection between looking at inventory <laughs> online for consumers and then coming into the showroom, what's grabbing their attention. So my question for you here is what would you say, why is there that upper barrier to search engine marketing or listing sites? Why is this even going on? Okay, fair enough. So, you know, it's an interesting time in our marketing space. You know, we've been all been spending a lot of time doing great things within listing sites, kind of seen as the traditional digital option. We've been spending a lot of time now exploring and, and doing really great things with search engine marketing. And, you know, that's probably been going on now for another 10 years or more. And we're just moving on down the line. We're moving on from point to point to point where we are finding that there's different ways to get inventory in front of customers. So previously, it made perfect sense. Let's put the inventory on a third-party listing site. Well, then all of a sudden, you've got to this stage in the game where the third-party listing site has everybody on there. There's all sorts of other ads. There's all sorts of competition that you're dealing with. The same sort of thing has now happened in the search engine environment. So there's no doubt that in any market you're in, there in Atlanta, you can put in a little search for a nice new uh, Lexus. You put in a Lexus in, in the, in the um, Atlanta market, you'll find that there are probably three ads on the top, the ones that paid the most or the ones that have the most relevancy, and then a whole bunch of ads down the side. So it's a very competitive space to get your inventory seen. So people are now trying to find different ways to get their listings in front of new people. That's why we're starting to see an increased growth and increased interest with inventory display advertising and different ways that we're now, as SpeedShift Media, able to help our customers in the marketplace. Right, it's all about standing out from the competition, right? So how can dealers do this? What steps can they take to make sure they're standing out from the rest? Great question. You know, we, we work with that every day, and, and part of our thinking is get to that customer first, mm -hmm. right? So we want to get customers onto our vehicle detail pages, and that's a real key tenant of what's going on. But typically, the customer is starting their search in a whole bunch of different areas. Those are areas where we can learn about that customer. So if they're looking at a review site, we can decide that, okay, this customer, through behavioral targeting, we can understand what it is that they're talking about. The other technologies that are in the space are things that are going to enable you to better understand what it is that your customer is, is looking for. So we want to get more vehicle detail page views. We want to you know, get listings out there in the marketplace. So it's, it's important to have you know, customers looking at listings. Well, great. But you need to figure out other ways to get those customers to look at vehicle detail pages. That's where we come into a new space and a new environment where we're able to get the specific car in front of the specific buyer. And so when we're doing that, we're able to say, okay, this customer has shown interest in a particular vehicle detail page. We can find that customer before they even get to that point of search. Hmm. Before they even say, hey, I need to search for that specific vehicle, we can put that car in front of them associated with the appropriate dealer and move the customer down the path even past third-party listings to the dealer specifically. Okay. So what technologies are out there that can help bring more in-market buyers to look at cars? Right on. Well, there's lots of different ways to do things. You know, it's, it's an exciting space and time where people are getting more and more involved in new technical means. I think a lot of people have come to that uh, realization that the competition in third-party listings is very high. The competition in search is very high. Even folks getting into social and spending time looking at the different things that you can do within social media to attract folks' attention to um, your inventory, even that's going to start to become saturated. So the kicker is that display has been the old school method. So let's put a nice display ad. Let's say, hey, come down to my store. We've got this great financing rate. We've got all sorts of cool stuff that we can do for you. Um, come on down. Let me help you out. That's your, your traditional form of display. But What's so super important is to move past, to move into what we've got now with technological solutions that can help the customer, that can help the dealer put those pieces together by saying, hey, we can find those in-market shoppers, people that are ready to buy, people that are showing behaviorally all these key pieces of interest and know exactly what car that customer is looking for. Wow. So we can say flatly, hey, you know, this person in the market, you yourself, you're looking for this 
Uh, again, this, this Lexus, maybe a 350, maybe it's the convertible Lexus, whatever it is, so you can rip around in Atlanta. You want to be able to be in a display solution that can help you put that exact car in front of that exact consumer, as well as a few other choices of vehicles on your lot, using that, that live inventory. When you do that, when you get live inventory in front of the right person, right? think of, think of the last time you saw something online, something super relevant. Maybe you were searching on, uh, on Amazon and intending to buy something. Then Amazon decides to follow you around in the mm -hmm. marketplace with that particular pair of shoes or that particular uh, outfit or, or whatever else it is. Well, the next piece of the puzzle is to say, hey, before you get to that site, so not retargeting based on inventory, before you get to that site, let's figure out what this consumer is interested in. Wow. And let's be sure that we show that inventory to that consumer. You say, wow, and that, that is exactly it. It is a wow thing. It blows my mind on a regular basis when I spend time with our technology team as far as what we're able to do. The wow part really, though, shows itself in the results. Right? Yeah. So 10 times more likely, consumers coming through in this format are 10 times more likely to engage on the vehicle detail page. Okay, they're three times more likely to engage on the vehicle detail page than a Facebook, typical Facebook uh, advertising. They're three times more likely to engage on the vehicle detail page than typical search engine marketing, so typical SEM. And four and a half times more likely to engage um, or, or to get to the VDP, so to actually get to that point where they can actually convert than any typical display campaign. Wow. So it's you know, significant changes that are happening in the marketplace, all based on integrating data and understanding what the customer is really looking for, integrating that with your inventory and being able to show the specific car to the specific customer. Right, it's all about being ahead of the curve. Is there anyone else out there who has technology similar to what you guys are doing? You know, that's, that's a really good question. Similar is all in the eye of the beholder. But I'll, I'll <laughs> right. tell you what, what's, uh, what's so much fun for us, there's, there's a very clear reason why we work as a technology partner for so many agencies in the marketplace. So what I like to say is, you know, everybody uses Google AdWords. And they're using it in different ways, and a different agency is, is putting their spin on it, that kind of thing. We're effectively the display solution for Tier 3 Automotive that equates to you know, everybody using that Google Display AdWord piece of the puzzle. So for us, the technology that we've got available is not matched in the marketplace. There's a lot of folks that are doing inventory retargeting, that are using um, site information from a consumer coming to the website, looking at particular cars, and then finding them in the marketplace. To us, that's the easy part. Mm -hmm. okay? That's the, the piece of the puzzle that is uh, very much easier for us to satisfy. What we've been able to build is quite a robust network and a data management platform that helps us to figure out that customer before they get to the site. So by looking at all of the active auto intender and auto shopper behavior and then saying, okay, we've figured out that you want that convertible new Lexus, right? Once we've figured that out, then we're going to find you in the market when you're looking at other cars, okay, and we continue to learn in those situations. But we can also see when you're checking out news and information, when you're checking out local sports scores, when you're checking out whatever information that you want to find online, because we've taken that fingerprint, if you will, of your device, whether it's a mobile, a tablet, a desktop computer, we figured out exactly what car you're after and make sure that that's what's contained within the ad. Awesome. Well, we look forward so much to seeing you at NADA. And why don't you give our, our viewers the name, the number of your booth? Yeah, absolutely. So we are at booth number 3,501. So 3,501. We've got that. 3,001 C. <laughs> so it's the, you got to have that. You know, there's, there's so many booths, so many, it's such a huge space at NADA. Uh, so make sure you take the time to come to our website before that and book an appointment speedshiftmedia.com. You can get all that information there. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for giving us some of your time today, Ian. We really appreciate it. We're excited to see you in Vegas in just a couple weeks. Fantastic. Looking forward to seeing you there, too. All right. Thank you. Bye for now.